They have a criminal history and they could be working at your child's school. A new report released today by the state controller says school districts are hiring people before checking their criminal backgrounds. Well, Nat Adams looked into this issue and found it happened in five local school districts. And she joins us live in the newsroom now, Lynette. That's right. The state controller found people with criminal backgrounds working in 30 school districts across the state, five of them right here in our area. The districts are Churchville, Chilai, Fairport, Gates, Chilai, the Geneva City School District, and Greece. Now, the law says school districts have to do background checks. That includes fingerprinting. But what the state controller found, while districts may request the background checks, the State Department of Education has not monitored the progress of these checks. So many of them get lost for months. The other problem, districts hire people and may wait months before requesting the background checks. On average, the state controller found background checks take eight months. In the meantime, people with criminal histories could be hired on a conditional basis. The audit found one employee with a criminal past in five local school districts. Criminals with histories that could include assault and possessing illegal drugs. Churchville Chile School Board President Cheryl Johnson was surprised by this news. We, we do the um, screening of applicants and then there's several different interviews and several different reference checks and those could be back and redone several times depending on the information we get. So no, it's not, we would never just rely on one, one single source to, um, before we ha hired anybody for any situation, but especially for working with children. Well, I don't think anybody should be hired until their background check is done. Uh, once they harm a child, the child is harmed forever. People should get second chances on getting jobs even with criminal records, yes. Now we did hear from three of the five school districts in our area. Churchville Chilai issued this statement late this afternoon, and I'm quoting here, the district complies with all applicable laws. It is also important to note that the district has never had a situation where a conditional employee was later denied clearance by the state for employment after completing a background check. Rich? So Lynette, what does happen if a district employee is found to have a criminal record now? Well, it depends on the employee's position. It also depends on the crime, but they could be fired. All right, Lynette Adams with our report in the newsroom tonight. Thanks for that, Lynette.